Butlers. Welcome to Baking with the Butlers. I dropped something. Episode five. Today, I have my special helpers, Madeline and Elijah, in their matching gear today. Their shirts, how cute, right? Today we're gonna be making strawberry shortcake sheet cake. And we took a little social distancing field trip to the strawberry farm this week. Here at Bacon with the Butlers for our strawberry shortcake this week. We picked our own strawberries here. What's this place called? It's called I the Ivy Place in Lancaster, South Carolina. All right, yeah, free advertising. They did not pay to say it, but this is awesome. And look at this. Look at all this social distancing going on. So if our strawberry shortcake doesn't turn out good, you can blame our picker. What's your name, buddy? Eli. And what are you doing? All right. And you're, you're in my All right, cool. All right, welcome back. We had a fun little trip to the Ivy Place on a Friday afternoon. I would recommend it if you have not been there. It is by appointment only, so good luck getting an appointment. Ours was just a lucky fluke that we got one. Um, today we're going to make strawberry shortcake sheet cake. So if you've ever made strawberry shortcake, sometimes you make like the biscuits or you have a little pound cake. So we're just going to make a sheet cake that you can cut whatever size um, cake out of it that you want for your strawberry shortcake. You need a nine by nine baking pan. Um, this is just what I am using. This will make the cake a little thicker. You could also use like a half um, a, a half sheet cake pan, like a half of one, and it will just be a little thinner. So just the cooking, the time to bake it would just be different. So you just have to keep an eye on it. But I'm using a nine by nine. You're gonna wanna preheat the oven to 350. Mine is already set. I'm gonna spray our pan here to make sure the cake doesn't set that aside. And Elijah, what's the deal? Your shirt is hurting. Okay, we'll fix it after the show. You want okay. the tag off? I already cut the tag off. All right, the... I don't like this shirt. Well, buddy, you match with your dad. What do you mean you don't like this shirt? Yes. Look how cute we are. Huh? All right, we'll be back. Wardrobe malfunction here. All right, uh, Mr. Butler, should I do the ingredients? Yes. All right, what you're going to need for this recipe your dry ingredients are flour two cups of flour i gotta check my recipe because i've only made this one time last night okay two cups of flour you're going to need two-thirds cup of sugar you're going to need two eggs oh those are the wet ingredients aren't they it's okay. okay i put them all together okay two eggs a teaspoon of vanilla thank you Mina? Mina for the vanilla. She sent that to us. Uh, three teaspoons of baking powder. You're going to also need five tablespoons of butter. A half a teaspoon of salt. And a cup of milk. And that's all for your cake. Then you'll also need strawberries for after the cake has baked. And then some sort of whipped cream. Uh, we were going to make uh, some uh, whipped our own whipped cream, but this store had no whipping cream, so we couldn't create that. So we just bought a bottle of spray whipped cream, so whatever you'd like. All right, Maddie Mae is not having it today, but that's all right. We're now down to two kids. So now it's just me, so... Baking with the butler. Everyone's probably going to leave because who just wants to watch me? Elijah, what are you doing? Okay, go get a new shirt and come back. Buddy, we can't come with you. We're in the middle of a show. Okay, Dad, can you go with him? Yes, 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 I can. Okay. You got it. Just keep Baking with the butlers. All right. <laughs> We're gonna Dad, bake holding a baby. Dad gets back, we'll hold the baby. All right. So what you need to do first is you can do this in a stand mixer if you have one. Um, I tried last night with my stand mixer. My stand mixer was a little too uh, big, you know, big problem I have here. So when I was mixing, I wasn't really getting the bottom of what I need to mix together. So I am going to be using a hand mixer. Um, either one will be fine. You want to start with your five tablespoons of butter. 
I'm just using a stick and cutting um, it off here. Now I only have one hand. This is motherhood at its finest right here. Um, I have salted butter. The recipe doesn't really say exactly what kind you need, but we made it last night. The salted butter works wonderfully. You're going to cream this with the sugar. So I had mine out a little bit before we started just to soften it up because coming from the fridge, it was a little um, hard, but it'll still work. All right, we've got our our friend back here. Mama. Yes, Mama. I am now doing our two thirds cup of sugar. You want this on? Yeah. Are you using your words? What do you say? Mama. Mama. We're working on our words. Okay. Um, okay. Here we go. Rough, <laughs> rough go this morning. Some days are like that. Okay. Stop showing everybody your undies, Maddie. You're not that type of girl. All right, so two thirds cup of sugar with your five tablespoons of butter. This is what makes the cake nice and sweet. So now you're going to mix this together. Do you want to help me with this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to want to beat this together either in your sand mixer or with your hand mixer. Either one will work. Um. Now the butter is no. no, 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 no. <laughs> Rip my fingers off. Okay, give me just a second. Okay, let me get okay. it started. Baking with the butlers here. So you want to bring this up. It takes a little bit of time. Sometimes the butter gets stuck in the whisk. Just gonna. Now I have these like padded whisk just because I'm about to use stainless steel bowl, but you could use your other, the, the stainless steel whisks and all that stuff too. Thanks okay, buddy, you're awesome help. Hello to Miss Compton as we do that. Watch it on Hi. Facebook. Hello to everyone who's watching. Miss Butler's class. Mr. Butler's class. Miss Dendinger is here. Ms. Shout Dendinger. out to Miss D. Woo -woo. He said you're doing a great job with thank all the kids. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All you moms understand. Ooh. All right. So I've got the butter and the sugar all kind of mixed together. Now I'm gonna, no, can you stop? That's really dangerous to press the button while mommy's hands are there. Okay. Okay. Somebody doesn't want his stickers. We're still working on yeah. linking in our stickers. You do want your chart. stickers? Okay. Tell everyone what you got last week for your stickers. What'd you get in your room? A bunk bed. A bunk bed. Who's gonna sleep with you on that bunk bed? Lenova. Who? Oma Nova. Oma Nova. Right. And grandma and grandpa when they come visit. Right? So if you want to come visit us, you have to sleep with a three-year-old in a full-size bed. Good luck. All right, so now once you have the butter and the sugar kind of creamed together, you're going to add your two eggs, which Elijah has been waiting for. See, an egg is already cracked because he was so excited. Can you cream, Can you put that in there? Okay, I got it. It is bubbled, but that's because you already cracked it. So one egg. Elijah's going to do the second egg. Get some shells in there. Oh, okay, I think we made it without getting any shells. Um, then you're also going to add your teaspoon of vanilla. Can I do it, Mama? Can I do it? My teaspoon measure that I had last night fell under the stove. So one teaspoon of vanilla, dump that in. And you're going to use your hand mixer or your stand mixer and... Mix that all together again. Can I'm not I make sure why it? I took those out. I think I was scared someone was going to uh I'll unplug it for a second. Scared someone was going to chop my fingers off. Okay, let me put this over here so you guys can see this in action. Okay, ready buddy? Yeah. Alright. So egg, vanilla, butter, and sugar for now. Make 
sure it's all mixed good. We get into that pit dough, pit batter consistency. All right, you think it's good? Yeah. All right. For now, we're gonna leave it like it is. In a separate bowl, I'm gonna leave that there. In a separate bowl, I have a Maddie Maddie May surprise! Woo! In a separate bowl, you're gonna mix the dry ingredient. So the two cups of flour, yeah. the other dry ingredients, some of them you already used. We've lost the top to this this morning, so there's a mess. All we're right. really uh, we're really struggling this morning, but this is real life, guys. All right. Quarantine is so fun. We don't filter our photos on Instagram 300 times. Well, well sometimes. Sometimes the audio, you know. Okay. All right. Um, good thing I unplugged that. Can you just leave that right there? Give me a really good helper. Kind of. All right. Two cups of flour in a separate bowl. And then you are also going to add your um, three, teasp three teaspoons of baking powder, which I have here. Okay. Yep, I'll hand it to you. You dump it in. Yeah, I'll okay. dump it. Dump it in. Thank you. One. Two. two. How many are we doing? One. Two. two. We're going to do one more. Fun. Why they do this? If you are watching on Facebook, I do not have the comments pulled up. But if you leave a comment, we'll respond as soon as we can. After the show. Because <laughs> that's as soon as we can. Like that Austin song. Who sings that? Blake Shelton? Uh, you remember when they leave the Austin P.S. I Love You? That's yeah. Alright, so song. after the three teaspoons of baking powder, you're going to do a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Now that is all the rest of your dry ingredients. You're going to mix can those I, together really good. I, sure, don't get it out of the bowl. I won't. He won't. <laughs> okay. um, after we get that mixed together, we are going to um, slowly add the dry ingredients into our mixture we already have created. And you're going to blend as you dump this in. Now, if you have a helper, um, it might be worthwhile for this step. I did it by myself last night, so you can do it. Just a little bit of a mess. You can do this um, by yourself. If you have a toddler, they may or may, may not be helpful. We'll see. So I'm going to turn it on as we blend here and jump in as we go. Blend it up. It's going to get a lot thicker, but we're going to add milk later to make it not as thick. So keep dumping it in slowly. Hey, don't touch that. Please. There we go. We're going to move it over here so you can see it. We got the pacifier for Maddie so she's ready to go. Dump the rest of it in. What are you thinking? It's getting pretty thick. That's okay. Okay, I need you to move your hands out of the way because I don't want to get your hands in the blender. Hey, Mama. What? Um, uh... All right. Once you have all the flour added, all the dry ingredients added, you're going to take your one cup of milk and add that to the pretty thick pretty dry um can you stop i don't want you to touch that and this will turn it back into the cake batter and make it look more like um i think someone put the milk away what, bud? so one cup of milk you're going to add in and then mix it one more time once everything is combined then you are done and we're going to be ready to put it 
cool. While I'm mixing the milk, we do have a, our first commercial from our sponsor, Instructively. All right, we are back and we are just finishing up mixing our milk in. Um, good thing you did not see that because it was a bit messy. When you first add that milk in, you might only do it a little bit at a time, not the whole cup. Once it is all mixed together, sorry, the star of the show cannot be seen. She's back, she's feeling good. Obviously, you can see that she's still teething. It with does. All those it pink in her mouth. What? what? Pink. It's not pink. Yes, it is. All right. So now, once we have it into a cake yeah, batter yeah. consistency, we're ready to dump it into our nine by nine pan that I have greased with uh, some Pam. Um, just dump it all in. I did taste the batter last night. It was pretty delicious, but up to you parents if you let your kids do that. I don't let my children, but I do it because that's the best part of baking. Right, Maddie Mae? So take a spatula to get all that extra out. Okay. And why we get that in the oven, what, what do we I'm expect? I'm not done it? yet. Oh, okay, never mind. Sorry, everyone. Shut down. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, we set the oven to 350, Mr. Butler, and my recipe last night said to take your 9x9 pan and bake it for 30 minutes. When I baked it for 30 minutes, I opened the oven. It was definitely not done. I could visually see that it was not finished, so I probably went another 15 or so, so 40, 45 minutes in my 9x9 pan. Um, so just keep an eye on it. Check it at 30 minutes. See how it's doing. Stick your knife, toothpick, fork in the middle of it. If it comes out clean, it's done. It will have a nice golden brown on the top, and you'll be able to tell that it is finished. Okay, so let's pop this in the oven. And while she does that, we have another Maddie Wonders segment. Strawberries are not really berries. Why not, Lily? Strawberry seeds are on the outside of strawberries. No fruit have seeds inside. Thanks, Lily. I went down a rabbit hole last night as I started to research this. And yes, at first I read that it was true. A strawberry is not a berry uh, because... Botanically speaking, a berry is a fleshy fruit formed from the ovary of a single flower with the seeds inside of the flesh. So no, strawberries are not berries. There's actually more reasons than that. There's different things that you have to have to be classified as a berry. But as you see in this picture, the things we think of the seeds are on the outside, right? Everybody knows that. But then as I got even deeper into this, I discovered that those are not even the seeds of a strawberry, okay? And then it just threw me for an entire loop, and I wasn't sure what, if up was down, and down, or if down was up, and I didn't know my left from my right. I was just completely confuzzled and confused, so I stopped. So I'm going to stick with our four-year-old's definition of, no, it is not a berry because the seeds are not on the inside of the fruit. How cute those butler cousins, aren't they just the sweetest? Thank you, Maddie, for that wondering. 
We learned so much from you, Maddie. And thank you, Lily, for taking the time to talk to us this morning. And thanks, Lily, for chiming in. And did you say hi to Lily? Hi, Lily. Yeah, you got to talk to her on the phone yesterday. That was pretty cool. Thanks, Lil. All right, so I have our half-eaten, because that one's still baking, our half-eaten shortcake sheet cake from yesterday. You can see it's delicious. This is the color you're aiming for. We had it covered overnight so I can still see that it's nice and moist. Um, what we, you can do with the sheet cake is you can cut whatever size you want. If you're feeling really hungry, love strawberry shortcake, cut yourself a really big piece. If you're a three-year-old, cut yourself a really small piece. Last night, we also took our strawberries from the Ivy Place and we used um, a chopper like this and we had some that we had frozen. Um, we pulled them out of the freezer, let them thaw a little bit, and just little by little, we chopped them up with this um, hand chopper. And then we threw them into a bowl. Elijah was able to help me with that. Um, we threw in a little bit of sugar, a little tiny bit of vanilla, just to sweeten it up a little bit, because this is a dessert. Um, so we have our strawberries chopped up here. There's lots of ways that you can use strawberries. Some of you may like them whole, so just put them on whole, cut them up. Some of you may more like a sauce. You can add a sauce to it. We just chopped them, added sugar and some vanilla. Um, so take your shortcake sheet cake out of the pan. It's coming, it's coming. Okay. There's our little piece. We have lost Elijah. He's, the children might be over baking with the butlers. Okay, take your strawberries, however you want to make them, drape them over as little or as much as you want. Take your whipped cream. We just got it straight from Harris Teeter. You can make your own if you're really fancy. And pick it off. Add as much or as little as you want. And there you go. There's strawberry shortcake. Elijah, do you want a bite of the strawberry shortcake? He really wants to go in his pool. Which he calls the cool. The cool. But there's a problem that we can't understand because he. Um, so he count. obviously does not want a piece. So I will enjoy our strawberry shortcake sheet cake dessert. Mmm.